My dear sisters in Christ, I stand before you today to share a testimony of God's faithfulness and goodness in my life. It hasn't been an easy journey. Yes, through it all, I have experienced the unwavering love and grace of our Heavenly Father, despite the enemy's constant, constant attempt to hinder and discourage me at every turn. Towards the end of January, my daughter developed an inflammation of the lymph nodes in her neck. We underwent ultrasounds and anxiously waited for a month, hoping for a different outcome. And fortunately, the lymph nodes had grown larger, so we sought evaluation of multiple doctors. Worry and concern consumed me as I remember my mother's battle with cancer. On the day of my daughter's biopsy, I was unable to accompany her due to contracting COVID-19, which I was isolated. A mother, the anguish of not being able to support and comfort my daughter during this time was almost unbearable for me. However, God remained my constant companion and the source of my strength. In the waiting room, as I anticipated the biopsy results, I wrestled with God, pouring out my heart to Him like Habakkuk. It was during this time that my enemy sought to play with my mind, whispering doubts and fears. But the Holy Spirit reminded me of the story of Abraham and Isaac. Abraham, a man of a great faith, was tested by God when he was asked to sacrifice his beloved son, Isaac. It was a profound and difficult trial, yet Abraham displayed unwavering trust and obedience in the Lord. God was not asking for a senseless sacrifice. Rather, he was testing Abraham's faithfulness and dependence on him. Abraham believed that even if he sacrificed Isaac, God would raise him from the dead because he trusted in the power and the faithfulness of our almighty God. In my own moment of testing, this story resonated deeply within me. I realized that God was calling me to have a willing heart and to trust him completely with the life of my daughter. Just as Abraham trusted in God's provision, I too had to surrender my fears and my doubts to the Lord. After all, she is not just my daughter, but his. I prayed for his healing touch, but above all, I prayed for his will to be done. And on April 25, during a routine checkup, I mentioned to my daughter that I had been experiencing constant pain in the right side of my body under my ribs. He advised me to go to an ultrasound for my kidney, ureter, and bladder. The initial results were unremarkable. But due to the persistent pain, I was recommended to undergo another ultrasound for my entire abdomen. The results released on May 16 revealed that there's a thickening of the bladder. That very same day, I was referred to an urologic oncologist who after reviewing the results and conducting further examinations, diagnosed me with a urothelial tumor. He urgently requested a CT autogram. In the face of this challenging news, I prayed, I surrender, and I accepted his will will be done in my life. I found peace with the Lord, and I'm no longer afraid of what the future holds. I have witnessed 
His power and His presence in my life time after time. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Despite the difficult circumstances, I choose not to cancel my, spe my speaking engagement at a retreat for cancer survivors and patients. I followed God's leading and attended. During that event, I witnessed and I shared God's word to 29 cancer patients and survivors who gave their lives to Christ. This unwavering faith and gratitude amidst tremendous challenges brought me hope and comfort. After the retreat, while, while running an errands at the grocery store, I realized my brand new phone, a Mother's Day gift from my daughter, was lost. While I was waiting to review the CCTV footage with the store security, I was directed to Opus Store. There, I asked if I could use their phone to contact Globe so I can terminate my lost phone. The employees were incredibly helpful. And during our conversation, I mentioned that I just returned from a retreat and that I belong to CCF Christ Commission Fellowship. To my surprise, the supervisor expressed a desire and willingness to attend Sunday service, but was unsure how. He shared that he is going through hardship and desperately needing to go to church to know God. I showed him the CCF online service and guide him how to access and how to enter CCF. The next day, I returned to the store and provide him with a Tagalog Bible and the best decision tracks. I shared with him that losing my new phone was God's way for allowing us to meet so I can share the gospel with him. Praise God. Today, I stand here to testify that God is real and our healer. He is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. The, bio, the biopsy result for my daughter came back, and her lymph nodes were not cancerous. As for my CT orogram results, it was released last May 28, showed that I am negative for distinct ureterial urinary bladder mass. Praise God. You know, all praises for the Lord. I really thank Him for this. This could only happen by God's grace and mercy. Truly, God is a God of miracles. I am overwhelmed with gratitude for God's faithfulness and unfailing love. He has shown himself to be the great physician, the one who holds our lives in his hands and orchestrates all things for our good. It has become evident that God has the power to transform the worst situations in our lives to something good. His love for us is unwavering, and He will never, never give up on us. He will always be for our good. Even Jesus, knowing the fullness of what would He will accomplish through the cross, didn't want to go through from the pain of it. Yet He said, My Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not as my will, but your will. Through all the trials I went through, I experienced God's intimate presence, and He revealed His purposes even in the suffering in the waiting rooms of our lives. I am Brenda Del Rio. I had been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. All glory and honor to, and praises to our God. Thank you so much, ladies.